Fire. Hey guys, Floatown Hockey here, and welcome to this tutorial video on how to complete four major glitches on the Zombie Map 5. I did not come up with these glitches, but my friend Bog Chaos Elite did. His YouTube channel is right here called Band of Gamers. Please check it out and subscribe to it. He makes videos on all types of glitches from every single zombie map. So if you would like to check that out, uh, please do that. Don't forget to subscribe to his channel as well as this one. And now I'm going to show you the four glitches. Okay, the very first glitch is located across from Druggernog on the middle level of the map. What you want to do is you want to break the bottom two pieces of the window. Then rebuild it so the two boards are sticking out just like that. And just jump your way to the top. And then from there you're pretty much untouchable. So you jump on both these boards. And this last jump is kind of tricky. You want to push forward, jump, and crouch. All at the same time. And once you're up here, you're again, you're in invincible. Zombies can't get you. And here's some gameplay footage of me up here. And I thought this was pretty cool because the zombies don't even notice you. And I always thought that once you go to a different level, the zombies just kind of teleport to where you're at. Where they kind of disappear and wait until you get back to that level to spawn back. But I thought it was pretty cool. They just kind of wait for you. And unfortunately, my teammate just got raped. But it's cool. I mean, he's going to die anyways. And that guy goes down. But yeah, that's the only part that sucks. You can't revive anybody from this position. But again, you are invincible. And the second glitch is downstairs. It's all the way at the end of this hallway. You have to open up uh, one room for this glitch. You jump in this window and aim at this gray line to the left of the window column. And if you're aiming directly at this line and you push yourself against the window like that, uh, the zombies won't be able to reach you and they'll just get stuck behind these boxes. And I think you can only have one person in this glitch. Uh, I'm not positive. You can test it out with multiple people. Just make sure they're facing that gray line. Exactly. And there's also a glitch right across from where these zombies are piling up. Okay, the third glitch is again right across from the one I just showed you. Uh, you have to line up on this one a little bit differently though. My friend is demonstrating it right there. So pretty much you want to jump in the window and aim at the glass piece. Don't aim at the gray line. You have to aim directly at the glass. Or whatever's left of it. And once you're at that, you can have your friends put it in the other window. And now you're set. I don't have any gameplay footage of it, but you just have to take my word for it that the zombies do pile up and that this one does work. Okay, the fourth and final glitch is in the pig room where all the pigs are like kind of kept. And you can just do the same technique by breaking the bottom two pieces of the glass and rebuilding it. And just jump your way to the top. For this third jump, it's different from the first one. You can just jump straight to the top without having to do the jump crouch technique. And this one is not completely perfect because... I think my friend did die once up here. Maybe it was because of lag or something. Uh, you're definitely safe from crawlers in this position, but I'm not too positive if it works for like runners or anything like that. Um, but thanks for watching. Please subscribe to both this channel and Band of Gamers. Uh, thanks a lot, and stay tuned for more videos.